Welcome to Defense and Space News TV. Today we are going to discuss about Cavery engine. Is GTRE's Cavery engine, will it succeed? This is very important question. And I have received so many query about that. So let's discuss. It was earlier reported that the DRDO is closing down the Cavery engine development program. While there is no confirmation of the report which circulated during Aero India show, it goes to show the DRDO's flip-flop on the engine development. The success of the AMC program is critically dependent on the development of Cavery to 35 vs as the power plant is the heart of any flying platform, leave alone the modern fighter. In that light, we try to take a look at the plight of Cavery considering the, the importance of having a locally developed engine in indigenous fighters. If the Cavery program has given up its ghost, it will be the second time that project has been shut down. In 2014, it was given a burial, only to be revived later. If the LCA has to be a success, the development of Cavery is critical. The import of GE-414 is no answer to LCA's engine requirement, unless it involves full technology transfer, which is unrealistic. The LCA, given its design needs a very powerful engine. Imports are costly and dependence on suppliers is unadvisable. And there is the question of the AMCA. The AMCA requires a twin-engine setup and GTRE Cavery could potentially power the fifth-generation offering from ADU and DRDO. According to a business standard report, in November 2016, DRDO Director General for Aeronautics Cluster CP Raymond Yannon confirmed that DRDO and French Snegma had tied up to revive Cavery engine as part of the offset steel for 36 Rafale jet. It is expected that the engine would be integrated and tested in LC8 edges by 2018. Yet no concrete action has been seen in this regard. DRDO has also tried to spin off the Cavery afterburning engine into the Cavery marine gas turbine, a recently developed derivative of the GTX 35 vs Cavery engine for ships. It is also actively working on GARTAC, a Cavery derivative to be developed to power India's unmanned combat air vehicle DRDO Aura. But according to retired wing commander GBF3 the DRDO is a white elephant. When the Cavery project was initiated along with the LCA program in 1984, we had great helps on the project. It has been four decades since then and yet we do not have a viable working product. I really hope the Cavery engine turns out to be a success because a lot of sweat and blood has gone into the project, he says. But the basic problem lies in DRDO's inability to deliver. Look at Poland, despite being a war-ravaged country in 1964, it developed the PZLTS-11 Iskra trainer which India bought and used for over three decades. We were not affected by war? He asks. How come Poland managed to make a jet trainer while we still have not? DRDO needs to develop a proper work ethic amongst its staff, shoulder responsibility and provide accountability, says the retired wing commander they should be held responsible for wasting public funds. Retired wing commander signed off by saying the DRDO and HAL need to stop basking in the achievements of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. It is about time they take a cue from Ezro and start delivering instead of just talking. So we can easily understand a very big question mark in Cavery project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.